Yeah, I'm Keith Kelfus, a uh, landscaper. I just have to document this for legal purposes. Um, so we uh, maintenance this property here on Carini Drive. We, you know, pull all the weeds, mulch and everything, and then uh, just trim this tree up from the ground with the pole saw away from the house. I still have to clean these cuts up so they're a little cleaner. But if you look all the way over here, uh, just to legally protect myself, see how the shingles are messed up? And they're kind of chipped up and the flashing is all scratched up um, the customer was concerned of if, if we possibly had had did that and so I came up on the roof and inspected myself we 100% absolutely did not do that because that's the whole reason we trim trees away from houses all the time if I'm on the ground and I'm you know pruning a tree away from a house I see that the shingles and the flashing are getting messed up because in, even in storms, this is actually a very light case. This isn't even that bad compared to what I see. I see brand new houses, $500,000 houses only a few, a few years old, and the shingles are all torn up because the tree keeps rubbing and rubbing and rubbing on the house. I've even seen it so bad with a huge Bradford pear tree that uh, the ridge vent here would be completely destroyed and ripped off because a big Bradford pear tree would be rubbing on it and I would have to go up and take pictures and send it to my customer because obviously so water doesn't get in the house but yeah you can see that these are old very old um, rub marks and this has just been happening for years and so we trimmed it away from the house to actually prevent the problem to uh, so it doesn't get worse so we did our job and I just wanted to kind of document that so Okay. I was nervous though, I was nervous.